Good morning, everybody. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. Amen. Romans 8, 31. If God be for you, who can be against you? So, whatever you're going through this moment, there are, two, there are a few voices that is speaking into your circumstance. In John chapter 10, the Bible says, My sheep hear my voice, and a stranger they will not follow. So we need to train our hearts and our ears to hear the voice of the Lord. If you're going through a circumstance and something's telling you you ain't going to make it, nothing ain't going to happen for you, you doom, you know that's the voice of the enemy because what, what's, what does the scripture say about your circumstance? Amen. I just read one. If God be for you, who are what can be against you? Amen. You could even go to Isaiah 41, 10. Fear thou not for I am with thee. Be not dismayed for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yeah. He would uphold you with his righteous right hand. And there are thousands of Bible verses. I just want to make this short. That's why I'm not reeling through them a bit more. I'm sure you should have knowledge of the Bible. But what God's word, what God's word says about your situation is exactly how it is. If God say you are blessed, you are blessed. A storm kicks up in your life doesn't automatically mean that you're cursed. Amen. If you are blessed, you are blessed. If you're the head, you're the head. Amen, somebody. So whatever you're going through this day, I urge you to go into the word of God. Meditate upon it, Joshua 1, day and night. That you'll make your ways prosperous and you'll have good success. Go into the word of God and in, ask the Holy Spirit to illuminate his word. That it will become meaningful and applicable to every area of your life and the lord will begin to burn his word in your heart the, the the scriptures will get off that page and god will begin to burn it in your heart that you remember the word of god so that even if you're in a circumstance where you can't physically you know get to a bible the scriptures will be in your heart amen so i urge you today to pursue jews to pursue jesus like never before you go after the lord you are blessed you're the head and not the tail <clears throat> you're gonna make it you're gonna make it it's gonna be well jesus is walking through whatever storm you're facing with you amen and for those you know what i mean whom whom have been coming under some kind of um strange affliction from 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 false prophets false people listen these people don't operate under the <clears throat> under the spirit of God, amen. So they have no power. What they do is conjure demonic powers to fight the people of God. They conjure curses. They, they can't do nothing. And what is dangerous for these false prophets is that if they begin to fight the people of God and <clears throat> judgment begins to come on them, and people pray judgment on these false prophets. I, I, are you with me, somebody? So nonetheless, God bless you all indeed. And um, I pray that you have a wonderful day in the Lord Jesus Christ. And may you go and be filled with the spirit of the living God. Amen. For as many, Romans 8, 14, as are led by the spirit are the sons of God. May this day be blessed. May you be blessed. And may the joy of the Lord be your strength as we can, as we can find in Nehemiah. Amen. God bless you, everybody. Shalom and love. I'll speak to you soon, but be filled with the Spirit of God. Seek the Lord whilst he may be found. God bless you.